hey look I know you're probably not gonna need to watch my channel ever again most people don't they need to just come here and watch one video and go but if you could like and subscribe that really impresses my wife and that's really what I do this whole channel for is to impress her so if you could help a brother out go ahead and subscribe to the channel and get my sub count up that would really help me out thanks guys hey everybody welcome to the channel so what is engine knock and what does it sound like so conveniently for you I have a vehicle that started knocking this uh, service vehicle so to speak I use it for my roadside assistance company that I have uh, I do like AAA calls and I know you're thinking that's not really like a company looking vehicle but uh, I get paid to uh, get places fast without getting pulled over so this car kind of does the job. It's not a real ST, so uh, it's not like fast like an ST or an RS, but uh, it is a five speed, four cylinder. Uh, so it gets me where I gotta go anyway, you know. And I've got uh, just about 500,000 miles on it almost. Anyways, uh, the engine started knocking, and I want you guys to hear what it sounds like. So that way. If you happen to have the same sound coming from your vehicle, you'll know whether it's engine knock or something else. So rod knock goes pretty fast because it's on the crank and valve train knock, which is up top, uh, goes a little bit slower because it rotates uh, at less RPM than the crank does. So if it goes real fast, da -da 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 then it's engine knock. If it uh, is like tat, 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 then it's probably uh, in your valve train, your rocker arm, your push rod, something like that. Maybe a uh, lifter if this car even has one. This is a 2014 Ford Focus SE. And uh, I put a ST front end on it and a funny hood and, and all that. But let's, uh, let's get in and give it a, a start. So you guys can hear what it sounds like. It is a five speed, so I'm gonna push in on the old clutch. And there we go. And you can see I've got 447,626 miles on this thing. every light on <laughs> that it can have on because it has that many miles. So let's get out and take a look real quick and a listen. I mean, it could be coming from up top, maybe. So they sell these things at the parts store, it's kind of like a, a doctor has and you can put it onto the engine and listen to it. Okay, so you just put them on like that and then you got this little wand thing that screws on here and you can poke it around and uh, see where the noise is coming from, hopefully.
All right, so I listened all over with this thing. It sounds like it's at the bottom, not at the top. That's a good thing, as you can literally just poke this thing all over the place, and it sounds like this cylinder over here is knocking uh, close to the uh, driver's side. So I'll rev it up, and you guys listen and tell me what you think. definitely rod knock right there so go ahead and shut it off and uh, yeah we'll uh, order up an engine and get that here and swap it out so okay so what is rod knock and why did it happen okay so in my particular case I'm horrible at uh, you know changing my oil out on time making sure you know it's full at all times and I'm just you know I run service calls on call 24 hours a day and I have for 17 years so uh, sometimes I forget and usually it happens to that car because I'm always driving it so in my case uh, I've went way too low on oil probably had old dirty oil for a long time and what that does to the engine is it doesn't lubricate it so obviously this thing has to be lubricated for everything to work properly and when you have dirty oil or old oil or low oil or in my case no oil uh you're probably going to get rod knock or a you know broken rod or something like that so i got an engine behind me and i can kind of show you uh, what a rod is and you know if it doesn't get oil how it can seize up so basically it's rotating around there's little oil passages in it the oil flows through there it keeps everything slick and and smooth and cool and and all that and you know keeps down on the friction but when there's no oil or dirty oil or old oil um, you know it won't it won't have that ability to resist the, the friction and it'll burn up and it'll seize or break and that's what happened so is a big block 440 that I've got uh, okay so here is the crank for the engine right runs along the engine like so much like the four cylinder out there and it has rods that come off of it that go up to the piston up top there as you can see that is the rod and up there is your piston right well when this part right here which I've got one of them take one of the caps taken off when that doesn't get lubricated right there that rod will seize up and not want to rotate on this crank and then you'll get rod knock or a broken rod or something like that so that's why it needs oil that's why it needs good clean oil and plenty of it and you got to change it all the time because these things right here got to get lubricated that is your rods the bottom side of what they look like you know obviously they are a rod that goes up like that you can see that going up there to the piston but it's got to stay lubricated so there you go okay so what if it's not rod knock what if it's something else what if your noise is coming from the top of your engine well if it's coming from the top of your engine most likely it's going to be your valve train so what is your valve train well i happen to have another 440 sitting here that i can show you so your valve train is your rockers, your 
rocker shaft, your springs, and your push rod if your uh, engine has a push rod. So sometimes if you hear chattering coming from the uh, top part of your engine, it's one of these rocker arms right here. They've broken off. You know, sometimes the end over here will break off, and you'll hear it just chattering around in there, and you're going to have low compression because it's not going to be pushing the spring up and down, which isn't going to, in the push rod up and down, which isn't going to allow the valve to open, whether it's exhaust or intake, you know, because one's going to be exhaust, one's going to be intake, and if it's not, if one of them's not working or two of them's not working, then that cylinder is not going to be working right. You're not going to have proper compression and horsepower and all that, and you're definitely going to hear noise up here. Sometimes these uh, rocker shafts can break, you know. Uh, or you don't get enough oil up here and and uh, they can get loose and and uh, need readjusting and stuff like that so if your engine noise is coming from up top it may be your valve train and that is your valve train it's off of a 440 Mopar big block 440 but uh, it's still gonna be basically the same as what you uh, would have in that Ford Focus out there so Okay, so you got rod knocks, so now what are you going to do, right? Well, you have to ask yourself, is the car worth replacing the motor, or is it worth just getting another car? A lot of times it's worth just getting another car, because if you can't do the work yourself, it's going to be pretty expensive. Um, you could try uh, little additives like, like this uh, Pennzoil here, or not Pennzoil, I'm sorry, it looked like a Pennzoil bottle. Rizalone ring repair. I tried that. That didn't work. And also tried Lucas. This is another good engine additive. You could try this stuff. It's a good little band-aid. Well, all right, boys and girls. I hope this video helped you out. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Like I said, it really uh, helps impress the wife. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.